Hello. <laughs> so, um, welcome to London, Thank and uh, we're so happy to have you here. Thank you for uh, uh, presenting me be here. your latest invention. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what was the inspiration uh, behind making this particular model? Um, I would say mainly progress as we uh, uh, dove into designing new product like the M9. Uh, we learned a lot. We also acquired a lot of uh, very powerful, sophisticated tools in the last few years that allow us to kind of take our design ability to, to a new level. So uh, when looking at past products, um, you could see what you can do today in comparison to what you've done five, six years ago. And it's uh, quite substantial. So. I'd like to bring that to the market um, and that's what led to this uh, new speakers even though again it's called an S3 it's really a new product um, and uh, and yeah that's uh, that's the beginning of the next step basically and what challenges did you face on the development of S3 um, <clears throat> there there's, there's quite a few challenges when you design something that is basically designed from scratch. So it's a, it's a, it's a new design, although we're working with um, uh, materials that we are familiar with. Uh, these are new drivers um, and there is new technology in them. Uh, also, the structure is, is different. You need to have the proper tools to actually uh, measure and analyze those new things that you're introducing, making sure you're not introducing quality uh, uh, aspect to the design, but damaging other aspects of it. Um, all that is a very kind of an intricate uh, game that uh, takes place as you design the product, as you manufacture it, and as you uh, listen to it at the end. We're talking about this, it took about three years to, to kind of arrive at this at this point so there are there were challenges throughout the entire process really and uh, if i may uh, how did you go about the challenges because we are here and uh, the, the right yeah well i mean again it's it's having the the tools to to resolve them so if you hear something that you don't particularly like uh, but you don't have the way to uh, empirically identify what it is. You're kind of in the dark. You can throw all sorts of things at the problem and not really solve it. But now with the tools that we have, for instance, the laser vibrometer that allow us to kind of see the entire um, characteristic of the vibration in the speaker and identified areas that needs to be addressed very specifically uh, that gives us uh, uh, a window to that black hole that uh, you know exists, but you can't really see into. So I would say it's it's really mainly just having better, more powerful tools to look at uh, what it is that you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And um... <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Um... Yay, buddy! Yay! So. What does S three mean to um, mean to magical clients and users? What sets it different? What, what makes it different from from the whole uh, beautiful range that is already out there? Well, this is still our middle tier loudspeaker, uh, and which was the S series. Although it's really a different speaker, it's still the middle tier, and that's why we decided to keep the name. Um, it just basically means that the product that uh, you will buy today and in the future uh, would be better than the product you bought four or five years ago. Not just different, but better across the board. Uh, you know, many times little changes are made for so-called new products, but it's more or less the same product uh, over and over again. Uh, this is clearly a new product. It's easy to see it. It's easy to hear it. I, I think, I hope you'll agree with me. 
Um, and it basically means that uh, we don't stay still. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the old product. That's, you know, audio files are very sensitive to that. Oh, if there's something new, then what I have is no longer any good. No, no, what oh. you have is very good. <laughs> but this is moving forward, and uh, we improved on a lot of elements of the design. And um, what does S3 mean to the um, contemporary lifestyle of, uh, you know, the end users? Yeah. Uh, what, what does it actually mean in our everyday lives, in a very human terms? Um, I think it's, it's kind of easy on the eye, and it's, it's small. It's, it's, it's a lot smaller speaker than... It, than the sound is. If you listen to it, and we played it all day today, uh, it can play extremely loud and it goes quite deep. In this room, it's going down to 26 hertz. Um, but yet, it's a compact um, package. So it's very easy to put it in a, in a living room. Um, and of course, the assortment of colors and different finishes that you can have should make it quite uh, easy to blend in any um, lifestyle you might want to have, if it's a dedicated room or if it's your living room. Mm -hmm. And um, as we know, uh, Magico is a top-end luxury brand in terms of quality that it um, delivers. And uh, clearly it's a, it's a new product, a lot of development, a lot of progress, a lot of um, tools and resources have been put into it, not to mention three years of the work. Um, and how do you balance the fact that it's a new speaker and there has to be a justification in, in, in price as well? It's, it's a very tricky one because it, it relates to the market. So how do you position it um, saying like, okay, this is the top quality and still uh, staying attractive in, 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 in the price uh, terms? Yeah, that's, um, that's always hard. It's, it's hard to do top-notch work uh, cheap. It's just, it's just not possible, really. Uh, and, and we are willing to kind of massage the spreadsheet up to a point. So uh, there's always going to be a segment that we're just not going to be able to meet. And, 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 and I'm not about to change uh, the way we do things because of that it's just not at that point i don't i don't see the differentiation there's no there's no point in having a magical there there's many many others that are doing that and that's fine uh, so you know unfortunately the quality is is costly some of it is very costly um, of course when i do what i do i can hear the differences between these uh, qualities and how much it costs to get them and it's it's very hard sometimes to compromise just because you heard it with and without and you know what it can do um so it, it's a challenge but i'm i'm happy to report that the market is still is still there and as much as i try with the a series to kind of push it as down as, as possible without really giving up our design principle and and kind of stay true to who we are uh, we were successful to some degree with that. It's still, you know, it's not an entry-level uh, speaker for anyone. But you can get a lot of uh, the magical good in, uh, in an A1 today, which is quite a bit cheaper than, than, than an S3, for instance. Mm -hmm. So it's something that is on our mind all the time, but there's really a limit to how much you can kind of um, push towards the lower end, mm -hmm. staying true to yourself. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned development. I reckon it's one of your top values. Uh, what else drives you? What is the passion behind delivering uh, such amazing quality in, in, uh, in the form of, uh, uh, of the speakers? Um, restlessness, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, th there's always, it's never perfect. There's always more that can be done and not always clear what can be done more. 
but it's just uh, always uh, it's always there. It's something that is kind of hovering around. So uh, you're like an explorer. Well, it's it's. Have I done the best there is? Is there anything that I missed? Is anybody doing anything that I am not aware of that might improve what we do? Uh, but also at at the end, it's a real um, it's a real it's deep to see people react to what you do. I don't want to say pleasure because it's more than that. It's it's not that you're doing it for somebody else. You're doing it for yourself. But the the the, the ability to share that um, feeling that it creates with others is uh, is addicting. You you want to do that. You want to deliver. Uh, emotion to, 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 to people mm. and that's probably what uh, keeps me going beautiful said beautifully said well, thank, thank you. you so much Aaron <laughs> thank you and thanks again for hosting all this this is great absolute pleasure all right <laughs>